With a $20,000 budget, Xbox Game Pass reached out and wanted to sponsor a gaming PC build for the one and only Carl Anthony Towns, professional basketball player extraordinaire, to truly build the Xbox Game Pass signature rig. With only three weeks to put together the signature rig, the time crunch is real. So thankfully we have help from the one and only I Justine, who is helping guide us through by not only talking with Carl Anthony and getting his ideas for what he wants in his signature rig, but ultimately in putting together the entire package that hopefully will end up working by the end of this video. Now to do this, we have the one and only Wesley Knapp, who of course has built many crazy things for us in the past, but this, this is something on a completely new level. So Wes, we're starting out with the Thermaltake Core P90, right? Yep, and this is going to be essentially the center core, just like the name, but this is where all of our PC components are gonna go. And then everything that we're doing to sort of snazz it up is gonna go around it. Yeah. As far as the design goes, we are really inspired by the fact that obviously basketball is a huge part of his life. And thinking actually about a recent trip to New York before you know, the world ended. I remembered the Atlas statue and how it was really just this cool metal sphere. And I was thinking, well, if we took that and we shaped it more like the lines of a basketball, having something like that, and if it was able to rotate even cooler, but just having something like that around the entire PC would make it really a centerpiece as opposed to just a PC living on someone's desk. So for the actual PC itself, we've got to go high end, right? We've got the custom design. So to start out with, we have AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X. As of recording this, that's about the most powerful gaming CPU we can use. 16 cores, Zen 2, all that kind of stuff. Gigabyte were also incredibly kind in hooking us up with some of the other components. And I say incredibly kind because not only are they helping out with the actual parts, but importantly, they helped me get it on time. Because otherwise, we would, we would really... have to buy it, which you can't buy it. Yeah, we would actually be using old school components like a 2080 or something. Or we would have spent $10,000 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, shout out to Gigabyte for the hookup here, because this is going to make a huge difference to the actual PC. You ready? Okay, that is a big oh, oh. Holy Jesus Christ, okay. Looking at this card in person, it is enormous. I'm happy that we're building this in an open chassis because I think this might be a pretty hard card to fit even in some normal PC cases. All right, so the test fit is complete. So we have our RTX 3090, our sweet orange extension cables, which of course will be slightly tidier in the final build, as well as we have our Ryzen 9 just sort of behind a stock cooler just for right now while we're making sure that everything works. Wes, would you like to do the honors? Go for it. Yeah! Oh, baby. It's funny, this case is so huge, it makes the 3090 look pretty reasonably sized. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> if you put that in literally any other case, it would just be stupidly big. So now comes the real test of cable managing, cooling all of this with the custom loop, and getting the actual sphere and the rotatey bits to work. Yeah, now comes the easy part. Yeah. We got hard parts done. You say that, but this is definitely the easy part. Everything else is gonna be so much more work, all the custom I was, I was being sarcastic. Oh. There's sarcasm in there, shh. All right. All right, so we've actually made some really good progress here. We have the whole base made. This is aluminum T-slot, which even though it's aluminum, it's very strong, and very sturdy. All right, so we have everything all wired up. I call this thing the drawer, just because it looks like a drawer. And we also have the motor in the back all rigged up to the power supply, so when this turns on, it should activate the motor as well. Let's see if it works. Yo! Okay, cool, look at that, spinning. So I've been tasked with doing water cooling for another big Austin Evans build. And I'm pretty excited because this is my redemption arc where I get to actually tackle hardline cooling because last time people in the comments didn't take so kindly to my first ever water cooling attempt when I use softline tubing. And I think the reason why people get so up in arms over softline tubing is because there's not a lot of options when it comes to 
shaping the tubes the way that you want. With hardline tubing, while it does require a lot of work to get shape in the tube, it does tend to look a lot better. It's a lot more clean. And I do want it to look better because this is a pretty high profile build for a pretty high profile person. So hardline tubing it is. So how's it going? So we have chased the root of our problems once again to the radiator. So when we actually went to pressure test this, we found that it was losing air and we traced every single part of our line, which to be fair, some of it is pretty loose, but nothing too egregious. Is it actually holding pressure now? Yes. I, so these luckily screw in yeah. with the old thermal take ones. These are just plastic stoppers that don't really do much at all. So, so basically we spent two hours chasing a leak that was actually just a loose cap on the radiator. Yes, I'm not discounting the fact that it could have been some of our leads as well, but after tightening and tightening and tightening, um, at some point something wasn't right. What on a scale of one to 10 is your frustration level right now? Um, very. That's not a number. It is to me. All right, with our loop fully assembled, we have not lost pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus, oh my God. Oh yeah. Why is everything in our lives just not working as intended? <laughs> Dude, this coolant was a very good call. All right, well, this is, this is what all of our work was worth. All right, some bubbles. We'll have to obviously run this a little bit as to get the bubbles out of the system, but this is a great start. Okay, here goes nothing. Is it? Whoa, -ho -ho! there it is. Oh, it's running through. Oh my God, dude, that's so cool. It is, right? Oh, it looks so good. That legit looks like we're using orange tubing. It, it does. It doesn't look like we're using like coolant inside. I like it. I'll just say that while I wasn't expecting things to go wrong, I wasn't expecting things to go so right either. But seeing the liquid flow through our whole entire loop for the first time, without any leaks, mind you, I'd say job well done. Hopefully. Hello and welcome to Tuesday, where we have the PC up and running. So the only thing we're waiting on right now is we need to, well, besides all the, the cable management and the RGB, we just need to get the actual shell, the exoskeleton on, and that should be arriving any minute now. Oh my God. We, uh, something arrived fresh from the, uh, from fabrication. Dude, that is so cool. Wait, we gotta unwrap that. Yeah. After, Everything we've been through, the end result of seeing the exoskeleton is so rewarding. I hadn't seen the exoskeleton at all while it was being fabricated, right? I'd seen a couple of in uh, progress photos, but until you see it in person, is it actually the right size? Is it the right shape? Does it look nice? Was the finish correct? All of this kind of stuff. If it showed up and one side of it was slightly bent, that could have been a complete disaster. But the fact is we have it, it is here, it is ready to go on the PC. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, hold on. Uh -uh. So we're a little, yep, so we're tight Hang over on. here. Start going down. Whoa! Oh my God. And I'm in. All right, mate, the pegs there. Oh my God, it Jeez. worked. Jeez. Oh. Oh God. Dude, look how. That was so close. That was way too close. This actually comes out. Look, this actually sticks outside of it. We're gonna oh, have to that rotate that real slow. That could have been so, dude, that's not gonna work. Wait. No, we'll double check it. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Ready? Yeah. Nice little rotate. Oh my God, uh -uh, nope. Nope. Definitely not. That is a hard no. All right, can we make that a diagonal? Do we have 45 degrees? Nope. We installed the the drain, right? Nope. That's <laughs> well, look. Th there are a couple of things that could that could go wrong in this process. One, we compromise the design that Wes worked so hard in doing, or we redo our water tubing. The problem with us redoing the water tubing is that it took us so long to do as well. It doesn't need to rotate. I think it's fine. I'm gonna plug I, it in just to see it. what happens. No, 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 no. Let's just, uh, 
this is the way it will live. So I know that if I go home right now and just say, ah, screw it, it's just not spinning, I am going to lie awake all night thinking about how I could have done something to make it spin. So another couple cups of coffee and uh, I'll see you all in the morning. <sighs> okay, so it is uh, two hours until this is being picked up and we have successfully finished it. If the exoskeleton works. Yep, so we have our new risers all built out of premium oak. <laughs> premium oak. <laughs> uh, and we have these little shims here, which will go underneath to kind of hold either side of it and just give us a little extra support when we're up in the air. If this doesn't work, I give up. Well, we don't really have a choice. We have nope. to give up. I give up. Okay. So if you want to make sure that the foot goes in the cup over there, Ken. Yeah. Here. Yep, so we're just going to take that. One goes here, can I, oh, I got the other one over here. The old oh. slow roll. Yeah, that's, that's oh. it. That's it. <laughs> oh. Here, we're gonna manually real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's, oh, that that's tolerance. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> it's so close everywhere. <laughs> oh. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Oh, jeez. It is just barely. <laughs> this is literally an anxiety machine. This PC looks awesome. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. It's actually one of the biggest PC structures I have ever seen in my life. The spinning takes it into something that actually has life, it has character. This is just a really cool PC. If, if I could make everyone's PCs rotate, I would. So there have been a lot of late nights so far on this build, a lot of 14 hour days. When we hit the button and that cage actually spun, not, not just started spinning, but when it did its full rotation, that was just like a knot that was in my chest for about a month, just So. All right, it's precision. Let's box this thing up and hope that it survives. Well, if it gets bent by even an eighth of an inch, <laughs> we're <laughs> Oh my God. I swear to God, Jess, if I hit it. Ready. Ooh. I'm so nervous right now. Me. <laughs> Look, I know that Justine has had a conversation with Carl Anthony and hyped up the build way more than it should. I'm just completely absorbed by the idea of, does he like it? Did it work? Like, uh, also, Carl Anthony's a pretty cool dude, so yeah. It's cool to be able to meet him. But I'm mostly worried about if he likes the PC. There we go, I'll take this. Check it out. What the hell? <laughs> that is a full blown contraption right there. <laughs> what is the world is spinning on it? It's, no, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, it's a basketball. Oh, that's actually crazier. That's really art though. That's legit art. Bro, what is going on here? It's just, <laughs> Austin for sure did a little something something on this. <laughs> How's it going, man? How you doing? If you knew the amount of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this thing and how many times it almost broke or just didn't flat out work, the fact that it is there and hopefully working, I'm so, so happy about it. <laughs> I, I can imagine, I can imagine. There's, seeing a PC built, it's like, everything works, one day you go to sleep, you wake up and the fan doesn't work or you, you know, something crazy happens. I don't know if we're ever gonna build any more of these signature rigs ever again, but if we were, there's certainly a lot of things to think about and a lot of things to learn from this CAD PC build. And I think a lot of it just comes down to planning. And I'm very excited for the next time, if there is a next time. I hope there's a next time. There's, is there a next time? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? We'll have to wait and see, won't we, he says. Austin Evans, ladies and gentlemen.